session. I'm going to start by putting a little bit of cream on my hand. I have really dry hands, particularly when the weather starts getting a little bit cold. So, thanks for letting me take care of myself here. So that I can then take care of you. How are you feeling today? How do you feel like your energy levels are today? Okay. So, for this session, we're really going to be focusing on one of your requests. On how not to feel alone. So, we all have to be alone at various points and stages in our lives. Sometimes for longer stretches than others. So in these periods, how can we work towards being alone without feeling lonely? And I've done another session on how to make friends. So if you want support in that way, I can try to remember to link that down below. And if not, please remind me if I don't remember. But if you... If, if this session is really about how to be with yourself, be alone, whether that you're not in a romantic relationship right now, and you're feeling lonely in that way. Or maybe it's that you're just feeling kind of disconnected from others, whether that's through distance or circumstance, or maybe it's just a mental block for you, or maybe the people that you've surrounded yourself with, you've started to set boundaries, or maybe there's just some relationship stuff that you're working through, whatever it is that's making you feel maybe lonely or isolated. I just want you to know that I'm sending you so much love and support on this journey and that I believe that we can really work through this, this sense of loneliness and really arrive at a place where we can start to enjoy that time to ourselves. So whether this is a short-term thing, like you're traveling, or if this has been for several years, discovering how we can be by ourselves, enjoying our own company without feeling lonely, I think is an incredibly empowering skill. So I'm going to begin by using a little bit of smudge spray. So I'll grab that and we'll get started. This is a sandalwood and rose spray. So I hope you find this really supportive and really opening and warming in the heart space. I think the main aspect of finding comfort when we're alone is a process 
of self-care and self-love, but I think more directly and more specifically a process of self-validation. So I'd really like to focus on that aspect of this year. I want you to feel safe and loved and really acknowledge that you are engaging in self-care and self-love as you lie on this Reiki table receiving this session. But I really want to focus on empowering you in the solar plexus. Really helping to invite some fluidity into that space. And really validating yourself. Learning how to self-validate. You want to give it a sniff? Okay. That's nice, right? Moving through your energy field. I'm going to use this tuning fork to connect you with your senses. So I'm going to move this from side to side. And I just want to ask you to be aware of your emotions, be aware of your thoughts as we move bilaterally here. Actually, I'll do it this side so I can do it with my right hand. Here we go. Did anything come up there? Lovely. there. Let's 
Breathe slowly and deeply here. How's that? Okay, I'm going to move through now with the tuning fork, okay? Placing it on your right toe. Okay, and now I'm going to place it on your left toe. Do you feel any vibration here? Good. Placing it here on your right leg. Good. And on your left leg. Do you feel that vibration? You feel it stop. Good. Placing it on your right hip. Tell me when you feel the vibration stop. Good. On your left hip. Tell me when you feel the vibration stop. Good. Now on your solar plexus right beneath your belly button. Good. Alright, did I say solar plexus? I meant sacral. Let's do your solar plexus now. Above your belly button here. And let me know when you feel that vibration stop. Good. On your heart space. Let me know when you feel it stop. Good. I'm going to do it. Let's see, actually, I'll do it right behind your, your neck at the base of your head. And let me know when you feel it. Stop. Good. Now on your third eye. Good. And your crown. And let me know when you feel it stop. Good. We're going to move through one more time. And that my hands is impacting the sound. <laughs> there we go. Lifting the vibration. Very good. How are you feeling now? So I'm going to be placing a stone on your sol on your solar plexus, and I'm going to place this raw tiger's eye right on your solar plexus. This is a very energizing stone. It's great for confidence, for self belief, and I really want to use this for the self validation that we're going to be focusing on. So placing this right at your solar plexus. There, is that comfortable? Okay, good. 
Yeah, it's very supportive. Sometimes having heavier stones on us can be really supportive. Good. And this is a weighty subject. You know, when we're talking about loneliness, it is... Um, I, you know, I've done a previous session on this before that I can link below as well. But this is a different sort of session because this is really about how to feel empowered within that and how to shift our perspective when it comes to this um, but just know that you're you're not alone so many of us move through this we all move through this and just know that i'm here we have a wonderful community here and you're being supported and held okay so I'm going to light our candle and set our intention, but I'm going to be using one of the older candles, so I'm going to grab that and I'll be right back. We all need human connection. It's so important. And it's incredibly important that we find a balance between being alone and being with others. Finding a balance in all things in life is, I think, what healing is all about. But the focus of this session, I just want you to do your best here to hold yourself with real, deep, and profound compassion because that's what you deserve. Specifically when we're feeling lonely. But you're wonderful. You're a wonderful company. And... Right now, all we want to focus on is just trying to empower you to trust yourself and to validate yourself. Validate your experience, validate your feelings, and talk to yourself with kind words. Validate yourself in all the ways that you can. So we've lit our candle. This one is a little harder to show you the flame without dripping any of the wax or making the candle a little bit wonky. So I'm going to hold it here. The flame is burning. It's a woodwicked candle, so hopefully you should hear it. So I'm going to place my hand outside of your heart space. And we're going to set our intention here. On behalf of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self, in loving comfort and perfect balance, I wish to conduct this Reiki session for empowering you to find solace, being alone, to help you feel alone, or be alone without feeling lonely. Now, if you would like to clarify this intention, or specify it, or perhaps even set your own intention, it has nothing to do with this, based on whatever it is that you're moving through. As with all my sessions, I leave this flame open for you to really dictate the course of this session and this energy, based on whatever is applicable to you. As long as it's in service of your and everyone else's highest, wisest selves. And we'll honor this intention here. And we'll see it through time and space. But whenever it's most supportive and wherever you are. Gorgeous. Feel free to pause if you need another moment. 
Now I'm going to use my selenite wands to just do a little bit of a gentle clearing. Does that sound okay? Okay. So just using these two selenite wands to move through your aura and just cleanse anything that you're bringing in today. Cleanse anything that you're bringing in that's not in service of your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self. can offer things up here to be cleared. You can say them to yourself or aloud. I wish to offer up this tightness in my throat to be cleared or this weight on my chest or this this worry or anxiety about what's to come or this rumination on the past. Whatever it is, any catastrophic thinking that you might be engaging in, anxious thoughts, fearful thoughts, whatever it is that you would like to clear that can help you more fully arrive right here, right now. You can offer that up to be cleared, okay, my friend? Right here, right now, you're safe, you're cared for, just breathe into this support and this love and this care. Good. Good. I'm going to place these two black tourmaline pieces right at the bottom of your feet, like so. And we're just placing these here to withdraw any of that negativity that might be coming up. So anything that's available to just be cleansed through the soles of your feet, we're just making this available to be cleansed here and now. Anything that's available to be cleared, that's not serving our intention, that's not serving your highest, wisest, most empowered and aligned self, we are now wafting it down to your feet to be cleared. You could even think the thought or feel, really resonate with the feeling and then blow it out of your mouth. And we'll just waft it down. You can go. Okay. Wafting it down. Wafting it down. Wafting it down. The candle has some sage leaves in it from me lighting the sage on it so many times. Sometimes it lights and it's actually great when it lights because then it starts having this gorgeous smoke and flickering. But it's not like the safest thing. So I just want to keep it wafting down, wafting down. Now that we've kind of trained the energy to go in this direction to flow here, that's what we're gonna be providing. Great. Wafting down, wafting down. Good. 
Very good. Just lighting a little bit of incense here. Reiki healing energy is flowing within you, all around, swirling and swimming. You are not alone, even when you are not surrounded by people. There are so many beautiful energies that are swirling all around you, that are supporting you. I am sending you love and support. There are so many energies that are holding you up and caring for you. And that's before you begin this work of self-compassion and self-validation. So I'm going to draw the symbols in the palms of my hands and place my hands on your solar plexus. my hands right above your belly button, loving comfort and perfect balance, offering only what you need, offering only what your highest, wisest self needs, nothing else, offering you what you want, what you need. So when we begin the practice of validating ourselves, it's really a practice of beginning to recognize our emotions, recognize what we're moving through, and identifying them. It's beginning the practice of really talking to ourselves as we would beloved child, when you are speaking negatively to yourself, you're speaking negatively to your five-year-old self. It's the same to your ten-year-old self. You wouldn't speak this way to a child. My darling, don't speak this way to yourself. Being alone is part of life. And if we start to tether that to a story that we're telling ourselves about who we are and what we deserve, it's going to cause a lot of suffering. So anytime a voice in your head starts to say something about why you're alone, with kindness and as much love as you can muster to say, I know that you're trying to take care of me, but right now I'm alone and that's okay. 
Now, if you're doing self-reflection and you're thinking to yourself, I'm having a hard time making friends. I wonder how I come across in situations or I wonder if I'm too harsh or something like this. That's a different process. That's a process of self-reflection. This is a voice that's uh, more of like the shame gremlin voice that's telling us what we deserve, what we're worthy of, who we are. Anything that's telling you a story about what you're worthy of or you know, who you are at your core or something like that. That is a voice that existed at one time to help us but it's not helping anymore. We can acknowledge the voice and say, thank you for trying to help me, but it's not helpful now. And I don't believe that. I don't believe that. I don't believe that voice. I don't believe what that voice is trying to convince you of. And I don't believe what that voice is saying about you. Okay. So, self-validation can look like saying, I don't believe in that voice. It can look like saying, oh, I hear that voice. I see what I'm doing. I hear that voice. Self-validation can look like, actually, I'm a pretty great person. Actually, I'm a wonderful friend. Actually, the reason I want friends or a partner is because I have so much love to give. I really find things that you can connect with and deeply connect with them. Do your best to validate yourself, to learn the practice of that. Some of us might say, well, whenever I validate myself or do affirmations, I'm, my brain recognizes that I'm trying to trick myself. And I get ahead, my brain is ahead of this other side of me that's trying to heal. Uh, yeah, that happens to all of us. It's a practice. It's a practice. And if we want to learn how to self-validate, we just need to practice it. And the more we practice it, the louder that voice will get, the one that says, actually, I don't believe, I don't believe that I'm unlovable or not um, worthy of deep, meaningful connections. I believe I am wonderful. I'm wonderful to be around. I'm a great friend. I'm so worthy of love. I'm so lovable, because you are. Very good. Your energy is feeling great. Okay. You are divine. You are connected. You are expressive. You are so loved. You are strong. You are creative and emotionally balanced. You are safe. Thank you so much for joining me. It is such an honor to connect with you. Thank you for your energy, for your light. You are such a source of joy in my life, so thank you. And until we meet again, be so well.
Sorry to make that decision.